But first, are radioactive roads coming to your neighborhood? You saw the headlines when the governor signed a law this summer setting off alarm bells for environmentalists. Tonight, we are taking a deeper dive into what this would really look like and if it could actually impact your health. This is 10 Tampa Bay at 6. I'm Carolina Lee. And I'm Dave Wagner. Good to have you here. The state wants a new way to deal with this. It's the waste from Florida's booming fertilizer industry. 10 Tampa Bay's Josh Shadorwood shows you where the first test could begin right here in the Bay Area. It's the stuff stored in places like Piney Point. Florida is dotted with dozens and dozens of these phosphogypsum or PG stacks. Inside is what's left over when phosphate rock is turned into fertilizer, the waste from one of Florida's biggest industries. There are better ways to use this material and at the same time remove gyp stacks from our landscape. Right now, it just sits for generations, posing risks of its own. These giant gypsum stacks left over from the mining, and now engineers worry the pool walls could be in danger of collapse. The 2016 disaster, when a sinkhole opened up. Companies like Tampa Bay's Mosaic, the nation's largest phosphate producer, see an opportunity. We want to move away from stacking like countries around the world have been doing for years. We are sitting stagnant. Under a new law passed this session and signed by the governor, FDOT can now start studying one possibility, reusing it in road construction. We're not altering environmental regulation. Republican State Representative Lawrence McClure backed the bill. I've obviously heard the term radioactive roadways in no way, shape, or form is that what this bill is doing. Instead, we are simply studying, studying to see if we can use this material in a safe, uh, healthy, practical, and cost-efficient manner. As it stands, the EPA currently bans the material from being used in roads, finding it presents an unacceptable level of risk to public health. That's because this waste is slightly radioactive. It contains radium-226, which when it decays, forms cancer-causing radon gas. In other studies, the EPA has raised concerns the material can also leach from roads into groundwater. But McClure argues that science has advanced over the past three decades. Florida State University has a robust phosphogypsum program that is studying how to strip that contaminant from the material. They're not quite there yet. Other countries, countries that we respect for their environmental stewardship, such as Japan, Australia, have found a way to use this in a manner that isn't contaminating um, the environment. One country's intent to straddle its citizens with environmental consequences is not an excuse for our country to do the same. Reagan Whitlock is with the Center for Biological Diversity. They and dozens of other conservation groups urged Governor DeSantis to veto the bill. Under it, all studies must be completed by next April. It's a timeline Whitlock says is hardly long enough. The Florida Department of Transportation is not in a position to make a finding on the health and safety consequences of this product. And it should tell you all you need to know about the intended consequences of this study. Do you think that it's a study with a foregone conclusion? Absolutely. Whatever the conclusion, though, any next step would ultimately rest with the federal government and the EPA. In fact, no study can even begin without EPA sign-off first. And as it stands right now, the EPA hasn't approved anything. A spokesperson for FDOT tells 10 Tampa Bay it's not even considering a study project to submit for approval right now. But Mosaic has its own request. Right now, the EPA is reviewing whether to approve a test that could happen right here in Polk County at the company's New Wales facility, where construction workers with gamma radiation detectors would pave a 1,200-foot-long road, mixing the waste below a layer of asphalt and above other fill material. We're confident in the safety of the pilot road project. Mosaic is quick to point out the EPA did reverse its decades-old ban in 2020 to allow phosphogypsum in roads. But that decision was then rolled back under the Biden administration, not for safety or environmental reasons, Barron argues, but procedural. I certainly hope that the Environmental Protection Agency relies on the best available science. Critics like Whitlock say whatever the reason, they're not convinced this push is anything more than a money grab by an industry looking to sell the very waste it's creating. In terms of creating some sort of additional profit uh, producer for us, that is 100 percent 
wrong. But it could be a, a very profitable enterprise. We have honestly, have, we have not really looked at those numbers because we still have a long way to go. Truly, the sole focus of this whole effort is to stop stacking PG. The use of fossil gypsum in road construction is not a solution to our gyp stack systems. We have more than one billion tons of fossil gypsum stored in stack systems across the state. And whatever amount is used in road construction will only be a drop in that massive, massive well. As of tonight, at least 30 lawmakers, mayors, and other local leaders here in Florida, they have signed on to this letter urging the EPA to deny Mosaic's application to test that material on its Polk County property. Now, the EPA says it has no timetable for when it will make that decision. I'm Josh Sidorowitz, 10 Tampa Bay.